What's up YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. And I'm back with my Charbroil Electric Digital Smoker. This is what it looks like inside guys. It's pretty messy but that's how smokers get. So it can hold up to four racks. It's got the internal probe which is cool. One thing I love about this smoker guys, I can put the internal probe in my meats and set the temperature that I want and it'll go to keep warm when it hits it. Easy peasy. It's the easiest way to make a turkey. Now today we're doing an experiment. But as you see in the title, I'm making smoked drumsticks. Now this video will be a little, slightly a little different because we're going to have some tasters. Um, they won't be on camera because I know, you know, this is the first time I'm doing it. I got these drumsticks. I was going to do chicken wings, but we all know the prices of chicken wings have doubled. Um, a bag of chicken wings this big would be 30 something dollars. Um, you know, two months ago that would have been, I don't know, 12 bucks or like 15 bucks. So drumsticks were still cheap. So we're experimenting. So we're going to go with drumsticks. So let me show you what I seasoned these drumsticks with. And I've been seasoned, they've been seasoned overnight, so plenty of flavor there. First thing I did is I put some avocado oil on all the drumsticks. Make sure they got coated real good and then started putting on my seasonings. And this is my go-to, my subscribers know this is pink salt, black pepper, and garlic. Put that on there. Um, put some red crushed peppers on there. Not too much. Give it a little zing. Added some smoked paprika to it. And the star of the show is my applewood rub. This is good flavor right here, man. I normally do hickory chips or mesquite, but today we're doing Jack Daniels. Okay, guys, I had the chips soaking um, in this bowl for about 20 minutes. The reason why you do that, it smokes more when they're, you know, when they're wet rather than dry. Alright guys, loaded it into my smoker box, which goes in right here. I'm going to take this piece out and foil it to catch all the drippings. Something like that guys. Before I forget, I have to add some water to this. Alright. Okay, so now we'll get it closed. Because we're going to preheat it. That usually takes about, what, 45 minutes. And by the way, guys, I will be making some smoked mac and cheese with this, too. With the chicken legs. So anyway, let's get this preheated. I haven't turned this on in a minute, guys, so please excuse me. So hit that, and then I hit up. Let's see. 250, 260, 270. Preheat. There we go. That's what I want. And then it should just take in a couple of seconds, if I remember it correctly. There we go. In the meantime, guys, I'm going to place my chicken on the rack, getting it ready for the smoker. We almost didn't make it. <laughs> now, nah, I almost was going to use two racks, but we got them all on one, so we're good. It's smelling fantastic, guys. Got the mac and cheese going in my Ninja Foodie. Put some sharp cheese on the top. All right, guys, we should be good to go over the smoker now. I'm gonna go out there and check, but it should be preheated at this point. Yep, it's blinking, so that means we're good to go. So let's load it up in here. Added bonus, guys, I am actually gonna add some hickory chips to this. I want it, I want all the flavor possible. And since we're experimenting, why not? Yeah, that sizzle. That smoke could get hot, man. All right, we're ready to close this up, guys. We're going to do about 220 for two hours. It's, that's going to get it to about 90% done. The, the drumsticks, you'll cook the mac and cheese for sure. Because, um, again, we're going to air fry them. We're going to put some uh, baby rays on them and air fry them and finish them off. All right, so let's get this on here. 
Alright, it's already on 200, so that's good. So I'll just leave it there. And I can set a time. I'll set that for two hours. And boom. We'll be all set. It'll just go to keep warm. Now guys, if I put the meat uh the meat thermometer, the internal meat thermometer in there, and I could have put it to 165, it would go to keep warm there. But I know some of your smokers may not have that option, so I'll just do it old school. Man, I wish y'all could smell it. Jack Daniels and hickory smoke. Nothing but flavor, y'all. We got about 45 minutes left. Got some frozen sweet corn. Okay guys, we are done. Let's open it up. Stand back. Oh, that smoke. I'm going to temp it. Let's see where we're at. But we should, like, like I said, I don't want it to be fully cooked. If we're at 120, I'm good. Just tempt it, guys. And it's right at 155. So that's perfect. That means we need to air fry it for 10 minutes or under just to glaze, just to, to caramelize uh, the sweet baby rays. So let's get this inside. My subscribers know what I'm about to say. This could be you. Rice done to perfection. Take a look at this mac and cheese. Smoked, y'all. Oh, that mac and cheese is good. It's good. Okay, it's Ninja Foodie Grill time now. Okay, hey guys, I'm gonna put the rack in mine. Got some baby rays in the house. Yes, I got all 10 pieces in. Perfect. All right, let's start brushing. I'm just gonna brush each side. I mean, I'm just gonna brush this side first. Air fry it for five minutes at full blast. Flip them over and just brush the other side doing the next five minutes. All right, let's get it in the air fryer. All right, guys, let's close it up. I wanna do air crisp. I'm doing Full blast, 450. We're gonna do 10 minutes or less. But I know 10 minutes for sure. Um, yeah, I'm gonna hit start. I'm gonna bypass preheat. And I'll be back in five minutes. All right. Looking good, let's go ahead and flip these over. Get some sauce on them and another five minutes and we're good to go. Smells absolutely fantastic in here. I actually smell the smoke, everything. Let's take a look here, guys. Perfect. And once again, this could be you. Yeah, I thought I was playing, right? <laughs> I tell my viewers and subscribers that hit the like button way before my video is even finished. I appreciate that. Let's test out what we got. Get some of this smoked applewood rub, sweet baby rays, chicken legs. You first. You got it? Okay. Oh, that's so good. So much different flavors right there. I, I can't even explain it. 
fantastic. I gotta take another bite. Mm-hmm. That's different. Let's try some of this rice. I already know this rice is good. I've made this a million times with my eyes closed. But you first. You got it? Yeah. Perfect every time. This mac and cheese has been sitting out for about 15, 20 minutes. You first. You got it? Oh, yeah. That's good. All right, I'm going to make four of these. Should be good. All right, we're ready to deliver. So, anywho, guys, I'm going to go ahead and deliver those four. I'm going to save this one. I think I have another person that may want this, but they work a million hours, so I'll give them a call a little later and have them test it out. But this is part of what I'm be going to be doing in the future. In fact, my next video like this, you're going to be seeing the people test it out. I just told them this morning that I'll be doing this, so I don't think it was fair. They didn't have a proper time to prepare to be on camera. So, But I still want to hear their reaction, so they'll tell me tomorrow what they think about it and whatnot. But I'll be doing a lot of other videos like this uh, where you're actually seeing the people eat the food, um, which will be cool. But anywho, if you have a smoker and you have a Ninja Foodie Grill or any air fryer, hey, this could be you, man. Try it out, man. Try something different. Have fun with these gadgets. All right? I'll leave a link in the description to my smoker and my Ninja Grill uh, so you guys can check it out. But that's all I got. Hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. If anything, thanks for just even looking at my video. It's Cooking with Doug, and I'm out.